What's up everyone and welcome to the club. It's a beautiful Sunday morning and Fortnite season 11 just launched last week. So in today's video, I wanna show you how to draw Ripley. And if you've seen any other characters that you'd like me to draw, just drop it down below in the comments. Be sure to subscribe to my channel because I'm posting new lessons every single day. Grab a piece of paper and something to draw with and let's begin. We're gonna get started by drawing a large circle at the top center of our page for the head. But we're gonna leave a gap over on the left side. So start down here. Draw that large circle, going around to the top and then back in towards the left again, leaving a gap on the side. We're going to tuck a bubble in behind this gap. So from the top, we're going to step up, curve around and down, and I'm just going to tuck this in on the inside. Let's move over towards the right and draw in a circle for another bubble. In line with the center of the head, we're gonna add two circles for the eyes. So let's start on the left side. Work our way around, back up towards the top. We're gonna line this up on the right and do the same thing. On the top left of each eye, we're gonna draw a smaller circle for a highlight. And we're gonna go in and fill the eyes in black. Now we're going to add the mouth shifted over towards the right. So directly underneath the right eye, we're going to start down here. We're going to start with a point. From this point, we're going to curve down and across towards the left. Now we're going to connect these two points with a lower curve. Move down a bit lower and then back up. Now we're going to go in and draw on the outside of the head. In line with the left eye, we're going to step out. We're going to curve up and then in towards the middle. We're going to stop right about there. Now we're going to add a bump overlapping the top of the head. We step down, curve over that line, and out towards the right. Now from the end, we're going to curl this back around, and we're going to follow that same curve coming in towards the head. Now we're going to continue the curve of the head in behind. So we're going to come down with a short line. Let's add another bump. Step down, we're going to draw a smaller one. Going up, and then back in. And then again, we're going to continue the head along the right side, going out and then down. Now from the side of the head, we're going to round out the shoulder and then come down the arms. So let's start on the left side. We're going to come down and bend this out toward the left and then come straight down the arm. Do the same thing on the right. We bend this out and then come straight down towards the same height. Now let's draw the inside of the strap coming down towards the hip. So starting on the left side of the arm, we're going to curve in and then down towards the hip. Let's line this up on the right and do the same thing. So right out here, curve in and then down. And then we'll close off the bottom with a curve. Starting from the left, we'll curve down and then up. Let's add in that large chest pad. We're going to connect the hips with a half oval. So we'll start on the left up towards the middle, round this out, and then come down on the right side. Now let's draw on the top of the strap. From here we're going to step up, we're going to follow that same curve coming in behind the chest pad. Let's do the same thing on the right. Let's add two buckles on the side. So on the left we're going to start on the outside, we're going to angle up and in. Step down, we're going to draw that twice. Let's line this up on the right and flip it over. We're going to start with the top line, and move down and draw on the bottom. Let's add some detail to the chest pad. We're going to trace this curve along the inside. And now we're going to split this in half. Starting from the left, we're going to draw a straight line going across. Now up on the left, we're going to draw a straight line coming down, we'll go to the right, draw that same length line, and then we'll connect these two lines with the line going across. Now we're going to surround the waist with some pouches. So starting from the left hip, we're going to draw a straight line coming down, 
we'll do the same thing on the right side. Now I'm going to follow the same curve of the hip, starting on the left, we're going to curve in to right about there. Do the same thing on the right, and we'll pull this straight up underneath the hip. Let's add two pouches on either side. Starting from the hip, we're going to go straight out. And we're going to come straight down to line up with this point, And then we'll pull that in. Do the same thing on the right. Going straight out. Come down. And then in. Now we're going to add a buckle in the center. From these two points, we're going to step up. Draw a straight line going across. Now I just want to trace this out on the inside for the buckle. Let's add a flap on each pouch. We're going to connect the tops with a curve, coming down the middle and then back up. We'll do the same thing on the right. And then from the bottom of that curve, we're going to draw two straight lines coming down towards the bottom of the pouch. Now we're going to go up to the top of the pouch and draw on the side of the body. So on top of this pouch, we're going to curve out and just pull that up, just underneath the strap. Do the same thing on the right, coming out and then up. From here, we're going to draw in the arms. Let's start from the top, we're going to step down, draw the inside of the arm, curving out and down towards the wrist. Let's line this up on the right and do the same thing. Now back on the left, let's start with the thumb. We draw a small half circle, curving in and then back out. Now we want to connect the bottom of the thumb to the wrist with a curve. Do the same thing on the right. Start with a half circle, and then we'll connect the top and bottom with a curve. Now back over on the left side, let's add the fingers. Starting from the bottom of the thumb, curve down, and then up. Let's add two more fingers. Step down, curve down and up the second finger. Now the third finger, we go out and up towards the wrist. Let's do the same thing on the right. Start underneath the thumb, on the first finger, second finger, and then the third finger, we're just going to come up towards the wrist. Now there's a small fin on the back of each arm. So we're going to start from the wrist, we're going to curve out, and then up. We want to make sure we go higher than the top of this arm. Let's do the same thing on the right. Curving out, and then up. And then from the top of the fin, we're going to round this out, and come in and down in behind the arm. Now we're going to move back down towards the base of the fin and draw the edge of the glove. We're going to curve up and then back down just over the thumb. Now let's separate out the fingers of the glove. Start from the outside, curve down and up, and do the same thing to each finger. Let's continue working down with the legs. In the center, we're going to step down, draw a curve, left to right, going up and then down. Now leaving a gap in the center, we go to the left side, curve out and down towards the left heel, and we'll curve out and down towards the right heel. And then from the heel, we're going to round out the bottom of the foot. Starting on the left, we're going to curve down and then up towards the toe. Now let's draw on the top of the foot. Start up on the toe, we're going to curve up and down, aiming towards the heel. We're going to stop right about there. It's almost like drawing a half circle. Do the same thing on the right side. Now we're going to move up underneath the outside pouch and round out the side of the leg. We're going to curve out, round out the leg, and then pull that in on top of the foot. Let's add the sole. We want to take this curve, step up and just duplicate that. Now we're going to move up above the foot. From the outside, we're going to curve down and up for the edge of the boot. Now there's two pouches that hang down on the side of the leg. So we're going to start up here underneath the inside pouch, curve down and then out. And the same thing on the right. Now going back to the top, we're going to step out and curve down and then out with a short curve. 
Let's add a half circle on the outside. Now we'll finish off with two straps on the inside of the leg. Start from the inside of the pouch, we'll curve down and in. Do the same thing on the right. Now we're gonna step down and just duplicate that curve. And that's pretty much it. There we have it, there's Ripley from Fortnite Season 11. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.